coordinate of centroid of a triangle. If there is a triangle ABC having their coordinates of vertices are x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. Since you know, you have to find coordinate of centroid of a triangle. So first of all, you need to know about the centroid. What is centroid? Since you know, medium, centroid is the point of intersection of mediums. What are medians? Medians are the line joining mid point of a side to the vertex, front vertex of a triangle. So from this vertex, joining mid point of front side, front vertex A has front side BC. So mid point of BC, that it be B. So joining this one here, this is called centroid. So AP here. AB is a medium. Medium. Now, here there is another medium. Here this is the midpoint. Let Q. Q is the midpoint of this AC. And this point is called as centroid. Centroid. Having let its coordinate be X comma Y. Since you know according to property of intersection of medians that the medians intersect to each other in the ratio 2 ratio 1 2 along vertex part 2 along vertex, vertex side and 1 along side side 2 now this is 2 part this is 1 part so and this is midpoint quite clear so by the midpoint formula this is the midpoint of these two points uh, of a line joining these two points. So its a coordinate can be written as by the formula of midpoint x sum of x coordinate x coordinate x2 and x3. So there is sum x2 plus x3 by 2 comma sum of y coordinates uh, it means y2 plus y3 by 2. Okay. Now we have this medium AP. Now, we have to calculate coordinate of this point since centroid is the point of intersection of medians. Therefore, C, this point G which is called centroid is internally dividing since this point lies inside between these two points AP. So, there is an internal section in the ratio 2 ratio 1. So, this will be multiplied with this one, one will be multiplied with this one. Therefore, coordinate x can be written as mx2 means this 2 multiplied with this one. So, 2 into x2 plus x3 by 2 plus mx1. N is this one. 1 x1. 1 into x1 divided by m plus n means both ratios sum. This we can find 2 to cancel out. So, x1 plus x2 plus x3 x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 2 and 3. This is your x coordinate. Similarly, for y coordinate, similarly, for y coordinate, this is equal to 2 into y coordinate plus 2 into y2 plus y3 by 2 plus 1 into y1 divided by this 2 plus 1. It's implied that this 2 to cancel out. So y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3. This is your y. Thus, coordinate of centroid of a triangle is given by, so coordinate of centroid of a triangle is given by x1 plus x2 plus x3 by comma y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3. Now in center of a triangle. So see if there is a triangle 
ए बी सी डी फिर लेंथ ऑफ साइड दिस साइड बी ए दिस साइड इज सी दिस साइड इज बी नाउ सी व्हाट इज इन सेंटर इन सेंटर ऑफ अ ट्रायंगल इज द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ एंगल बाइसेक्टर्स एंगल बाइसेक्टर्स सी सपोज देयर इज अ लाइन दिस हियर बाइसेक्टिंग दिस एंगल दिस एंगल इक्वल टू दिस एंगल एंड देयर इज अनदर लाइन बाइसेक्टिंग दिस वन सो दिस पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन a angle bisector is called as in center represented by i now we have to find the coordinate of this in center let the coordinate of this in center be x comma y here as usual let the coordinate of vertices of this triangle be x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 now we are going to apply two theorems basically first that is angle bisector theorem as in the class 10th we have already known what is angle bisector theorem c according to angle bisector theorem a line bisect internally bisecting or an angle bisector means a line which is bisecting any angle divide the opposite side for example if you are talking about this a am angle bisector am which is bisecting this angle a so this am divide this opposite side opposite side means this dc in the ratio of the sides containing these angles means this dc line is being divided by this am in the ratio means this bm upon cm will be equal to this ab upon ac according to angle bisector theorem here this implies value of ac ab ab is c and what is value of ac that is b Means here B M upon C M is equal to C by B. Question number one. Means B M upon C M means this is the ratio C ratio B. Therefore, by internal division formula, we can calculate the coordinate of this point M. How? Just see. We can calculate its coordinate. Coordinate of this M as Plus c into x3 upon b plus c, comma b into y2 plus c into y3 upon b plus c. So this is the coordinate of this point M. Now see this b i r here n. This b n is the this bn is the line which is bisecting this angle b so for this angle bisector we are applying again the angle bisector theorem how here this time this ratio this means in this triangle this bi is also called as angle bisector therefore this mi mi upon in triangle a b m a b a b m taking b i as angle bisector so by angle bisector theorem m i upon i a is equal to 
m i upon i a is equal to this b m upon b a. Now see how can we calculate this b m? This is not equal to c. This is c by b ratio. This is ratio, not equal value. So how can we find b m upon b a? Now see. We can add it here. Three. Now see this is question second. So the value of Bm is unknown. This is not value of Bm. This is the ratio of Bm upon Cm is equal to C by B. This is not a value equal to Bm. Okay. Now see. So we require Bm so that we can find M i upon i a means this ratio upon this ratio. Okay. So to calculate Bm. From equation 1, from your C, Bm upon Cm is equal to C by B. It implies that its reciprocal Cm upon Bm by the property of ratio, we can write B by C. So adding 1 in both sides, what you get? Adding 1, this will be equal to Cm plus Bm upon Bm is equal to B plus C upon C. Clear? Now see Cm plus Bm. Cm plus Bm means this total. It means that is A. So at the place of this, what can I write? A upon Bm. This is B plus C by C. It supplies again. What is Bm? Bm upon A can be written as C upon Bc. B plus C. It implies that Bm is equal to AC upon B plus C. This is equation number 3. Therefore, putting the value of Bm and Ba here, thus equation second reduced as Mi upon Ia is equal to Bm that is Ac upon B plus C upon Ba. B A is total upon B A, B A is C. Let's imply that A C upon B plus C into C. C C cancel out. Let's imply A upon B plus C. This is M I upon I A. Thus M I M. Let this be ratio A and this is B plus C or okay. This is B plus C. C. Suppose. Now, apply again here internal division formula. So, C. Now, by internal division. C. How can I find by internal division formula? This A into X1 a into x1 plus b plus c into this. So b plus c into bx2 plus cx3 upon b plus c. So upon this a plus b plus c. This is your x coordinate. So from here b plus c cancel out with this b plus c. It implies that a x1 plus b x2 plus c x3 upon a plus b plus c. This is your x coordinate. Similarly, your y coordinate. Similarly, similarly, your y coordinate will be equal to a y1 plus b y2 plus c y3 divided by a plus b plus c. So, once again I would like to explain it. Here x1 y1, x2 y2 and x3 i3 are the vertices of a triangle and these are am and dn are angle bisectors. 
This point is the angle of intersection. Uh, this point is the point of intersection of angle bisectors. So this is called as in center. And here we have applied to calculate this in center angle bisector theorem. By angle bisector theorem, this angle bisector divides the opposite side in the ratio of uh, sides containing angles means this upon this is equal to C upon B and here once again this BI is the angle bisector of this line uh, uh, in this triangle for this angle it is bisector therefore this ratio upon this ratio can be calculated by this way and hence we can calculate the coordinate of in center as C a, B, C are sides of a triangle. So, this side A multiplied with the opposite corner means vertex A x1 and here B x2 and this C x3 upon A plus B plus C you can see. So, in the coordinate of in sector is A x1 plus B x2 plus C x3 upon A plus B plus C and Y coordinate A y1 plus B y2 plus C y3 upon A plus B plus C. Thank you. In next video, I will explain some numericals based on this. Thank you.